a moment of silence. You might wonder, what's the moment of silence for, Patrick? The moment of silence is for all the people out there that said that Moas is going to happen today or yesterday or the day before or the day before or the day before that. AMC still heading lower. Breaking it down right here in this video, talking about the put options that I bought and talking about how I'm making money as AMC goes down, down, down. What's going on guys, Patrick here, and I'm back today to talk more about AMC. I've seen in the past that people are mad, they're upset. Patrick, all you do is talk about AMC. You don't make money off AMC. Well, everybody who's been buying above $30 is no longer making money either because today AMC is now $27. And well, I'm making a little bit of money on some put options that I bought on AMC, but I was looking for a bigger move to the upside. I'm gonna talk about this move right here and what's going on. Look at the chart. Let's dive into the chart. All right, so looking here at the chart on AMC, what do we got going on? If you look at it, just, just look at it. Again, we have a lower high, 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 a lower high. I know everyone is in denial that they say the AMC has only been going up in price since June or May or whatever you want to call it. I see a lot of people out there that say a lot of crazy things, but here I am once again. I want to say I'm correct or I'm right, but AMC is still heading lower. Now, what I was hoping for was the other day that AMC would squeeze up here to the $40 area and give me a lot better cost basis on buying those $24 to $23 puts. That would have been a much better profit opportunity for me to buy those puts at that level. But you can see today AMC at $27. I'm hoping that what we get to happen here is that AMC holds this kind of overall trend and we still are able to push up here to this level up to the $40 level. And at that point, I would love to really load the boat on those put options. I was able to buy a few put options. So you can see right now I'm holding December 31st, $24 puts, and then I'm holding January 21st, $21 puts. I was trying to buy more put options, but AMC did not go to the $40 area like I was looking for. So I was only able to get a few because I'm looking to still add into this. And you can see right now I'm up about $80 on the day, which is really not much because like I said, I wanted to add more at a higher level. But like I said, the issue here is I wasn't able to get the exact area that I was looking for, like I talked about in the video. That $40 area would have given me a much better, a much better overall profit margin if AMC would have pushed up here to the $40 area, you know, had a couple more squeezes and pushed up here to 40 and then sold off. Oh, it would have been beautiful. It would have been so, so 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 beautiful now one thing that i do want to point out here is throughout this consolidation or through this huge move the upside we had a massive spike in volume and this i think was a total just bull trap it got everybody all excited the fomo was real when amc went up 20 percent in one day it squeezed from the 24 dollars area up here to right above 30 and yesterday or two days ago on i think monday or you, I think, yeah, right around there, it pushed up there to the $32 area, which had that resistance with the overall EMA clouds and everything going on. We talked about this big red EMA cloud right here and how it was starting to look like it might turn to green, but if this price action continues, well, I think all this EMA clouds and all this resistance will continue to push the price of AMC down. And I wanna talk about kind of what, you know, when people say like, oh, Patrick, you're so bearish. You think that AMC is going to go to zero, zero, zero. And yes, I do believe that the stock or that the company itself, AMC, is, will be totally worthless in the future. But it's hard to say exactly, you know, at what point that will happen. I can't just put an exact date on it. But one thing that I do know is that AMC will be bankrupt in the future. And everybody who's holding the stock will hold nothing, zero, nothing, nothing, nothing. If you're looking to take your trading and investing to a new level in 2022, I would suggest checking out Interactive Brokers. This is the broker that I use for buying options, for buying cryptocurrency, and also trading stocks every day. There's a link down below. One of the number one brokers in the world that can help you take your trading and your investing to the next level in 2022. All right, so looking here at AMC, what happens now? I kind of like this kind of idea that AMC kind of bounces here and bounces and bounces. 
this is what I'm gonna be watching. I'm gonna be watching the $26 level. If that $26 area holds and we hold around here, I'll end up getting out of those put options and I will wait for this to kind of go like, I think maybe like one of this kind of action. We can get this little push back up here and then we get up here to the 40 and then we get denied and then we sell off back down here at 22 and go even lower, kind of like this down here to the $11 area is kind of what my overall plan would be for this stock AMC right now and kind of what I'd be looking for for put options. It's holding that $28 area right now. You can see on the hourly chart, we're kind of holding off of that 28, kind of trying to push back up here this morning, a huge sell off at the open from the $29 area, just dumping down here to 2680, starting to get a little bit of buyers coming in there, trying to cover, I think today, as the market is getting close to the weekend, we got Christmas and all that stuff going on. So right now, AMC trying to push back up here off the $28 level. And like I said earlier in this video, my real goal for this is to push up here to the $40 area to buy put options. And you can see the overall kind of idea of that happening. Now, one thing that I do want to make clear, everyone out there, you know, is always like, oh, Patrick has no idea what he's talking about, Patrick's an idiot, blah, blah, blah. But to be a bull, to really believe that AMC is going to go to a you know three hundred dollars or hundred dollars, two hundred dollars to have this moass, it's that's all belief, really, right? That's hundred percent just belief. It's nothing more than believing that there's a monkey that flies around on the moon, or to believe that there's you know a million different you know kind of hypothetical situations. And really, that's all the moass is. It's just a hypothetical situation. Does it mean it's going to happen? No, just because a lot of people believe that something's going to happen does not mean it's going to happen. So you have to kind of look at this from a, you know, from a, um, a partial perspective, you know, from both perspectives as a bear, as a bull, you have to look at the chart. And I know people say the chart doesn't matter. Fundamentals don't matter. The stock is only going to go higher because people believe it's going to higher. But like I said before, if you look back through history, when people started to become greedy on something, when people started to believe in something, just because they believed in something, when did it actually happen? Because people, you know, believe that they're going to become millionaires doesn't mean they're going to become millionaires. Or just because people believe that they're going to turn $100 into $1,000 does not mean that's actually going to happen. So right now, like again, like I said, AMC trying to bounce off this level, kind of expected that to happen. That's why I only bought a few puts up there at the $30 area. And, you know, I'll look to maybe take some profit on those puts now and then wait for that move up here to the forties or kind of see what happens here the rest of the day. We still got about, still got a few hours left in the day here. If AMC closes, but if AMC closes below $28, I will then look to hold those put options. If AMC closes above $28 and show some strength there, I will look to close those put options and wait for that move higher that I'm hoping will come maybe next week or, you know, it might not happen until January at this point actually, but we'll see what happens. You can see the volume as well, just kind of tapering off through this move. And that's kind of giving us an idea that there is some consolidation at that level. Right now, as we pushed off of that $24 level up here to 32, we ran into that resistance multiple times. You can see the EMAs, how they're all working out here, what's going on. It's not rocket science. Although people believe that the chart doesn't matter, that I have no idea what I'm talking about. It's very simple here higher low higher low higher low higher low lower low lower low so that means one thing the price action the price is moving lower as much as you want to deny the fact that amc is going lower well the chart doesn't lie although people believe that the chart means nothing well clearly the price action says another thing so that's kind of what i'm looking at i'm trying to you know i'm not trying to like rub it into anyone or you know talk poorly about anyone who's holding amc at this time because it's i don't really you know you could believe what you want to believe. You can hold what you want to believe. That's the great thing about America, a free country. If you want to buy AMC stock, because you believe AMC, as you believe that AMC stock is going to go higher in the future, hey, that's that's your that's your choice, right? That's your choice. The same choice that I have to be able to look at this. And right now, looking like that twenty-eight dollar area might hold here. We'll see if this can push up and turn green. That would be bullish, and we might be able to get a move up here to the forty-dollar level. And at that point, I'm buying big. I'm buying a lot of puts at that $40 level, because I can buy these $24, $25 puts on AMC if it's up here to 40 for a, a very, very good price. So if you guys wanna learn more about investing instead of just believing in something, well, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I got more videos coming real soon. I will talk to you guys later on.